Hello guys. In this video we will talk about the 2018 movie, Red Sparrow. A young girl named Dominika Yegorva helps her sick mother get ready to go with her to the doctor for an examination. After that, the girl leaves her mother with a nurse and leaves for the theater. Dominika changes clothes in the wardrobe and meets her uncle Ivan, who introduces his friend Dimitri to the girl. Soon Dominika performs on stage, her partner joins her. At the end of the dance, the guy accidentally breaks the girl's leg. During this, a CIA agent named Nathaniel Nash receives a call in which a code is dictated to him. After deciphering the message, the man goes to the indicated place. Late in the evening he goes to meet a man. Nathaniel realizes that the car coming from behind is following him closely. The person hands over the parcel to the agent and asks not to stop. There were police officers in the car who, using a loudspeaker, demanded to stop. Nate drew his pistol and fired several shots into the ground. The car accelerated and the man began to run away. In the end, the agent was caught, and then taken to his superiors. They are unhappy with his behavior with the police, as they did not threaten him with anything. Meeting them would end with a simple passport check. They also report that Nate will fly to Washington the next day. Meanwhile, Dominica is undergoing surgery on her broken leg. The next day, Ivan visits the head of the special services, Zakharov, who sympathizes with him about his niece. General Vladimir was also in the office, which leads to the essence of the meeting. Zakharov shows a recording with Nate and says that this man is a CIA agent and has recently left Russia. Most of all, they are worried about the man who passed by, the employees did not touch him, since Nate distracted them with shots. They want Ivan to know who he is. Then Dominika wakes up and finds a metal apparatus at the site of the fracture. The girl cries as she realizes that she may never be able to dance. Three months later, Ivan visits Dominika, who walks with a cane. While the girl was preparing tea, her uncle reports that a replacement has been found in the theater. Dominika does not understand why he is talking about this and asking directly. Ivan reminds the girl that the apartment in which she lives with her mother belongs to the theater and sooner or later they will demand her release. Moreover, they pay for the treatment of the mother. Ivan wants to help and asks Dominika to come to him when she is ready. Before leaving, the man leaves an envelope with a voice recorder and photos. In the photographs, her dancing partner is with a girl who replaces her in the theater. The recording on the voice recorder makes it clear that the partner deliberately broke the girl's leg so that his beloved would take Dominika's place. After that, she comes to the theater where the couple makes love. The girl cannot stand it and severely beats them with a cane, and then runs to the B-Us. There, Dominika notices blood on her arm and calls the police to report an accident in the theater's women's locker room. Then Dominika comes home and realizes that the nurse is not at home. Her mother lay in the bath and cried, as she was told that the theater would not pay anymore. The next day, Dominika comes to her uncle, who is aware that the girl beat the dancers. She asks him for help and he agrees, but before that, Dominika must get to know better a man named Dimitri, who was with him on the day of the failed performance. Ivan understands that the man liked Dominika and believes that she can handle it without any problems. The girl refuses, but Ivan convinces when he makes it clear that he needs to show her favor to the authorities, otherwise they will not help her. Following Dominika prepares for a meeting with Dimitri. She changes clothes and goes to the bar, soon her target approaches her. Dimitri immediately guesses that the girl was not here by chance and does not believe that she is just waiting for a friend. Dominika admits that she really came for him to feel special again. Then the girl takes him to her room. The guards examine the room, and after Dominic asks them to leave, Dimitri takes off his jacket and asks the girl to take off her dress. Then she comes closer and the man immediately began to use her. Suddenly, a man in a helmet appears behind Dimitri and kills the man. The stranger asks not to make noise and gives Dominica clothes, and then calls to come with him. They escape from the hotel and leave on a motorcycle. The man takes the girl to an abandoned building where he sits her at the table, and then takes off his helmet. The man turns out to be Ivan's agent who is in the same building. The general standing nearby believes that Dominic whose witness should be eliminated. Ivan refuses and says that this is his niece. He then sits down opposite her. Dominica guesses that Ivan initially understood how everything would happen, but he justifies this by saying that otherwise she would not have agreed. Further, Ivan offers to undergo difficult training so that the girl becomes an agent, since she coped with the task. In case of refusal, Ivan will not be able to help her. A few days later, Dominica arrives at a special school where she is met by the head Matrona. The woman gives a paper with the girl's new name and warns that no one should tell the truth about themselves, even the rest of the cadets. Matrona also informs that if Dominica is not useful to the country, 
Then she will personally shoot the girl. At the lecture, Matrona claims that the world is in chaos and only Russia is able to make the necessary sacrifices to change this. She further informs that from this day on, students will become sparrows as tools in the fight for justice. The woman calls Dominica and another student to show how seduction works to get the information they need. She asks them to undress. The guy does it, but Dominica refused because of which the matron began to scold her. Meanwhile, Nathan is called by a commission, where the agent is informed that he has been suspended from foreign assignments. Attempts to dissuade the commission ended in failure. Further, Nate begins to suspect that he is being followed and reports this to his superiors. He tells them that if the surveillance continues, then the man in the park has not been discovered and he needs to return to Russia to meet him. Ultimately, it was decided to send Nate to Eastern Europe. Counterintelligence will begin to show interest in the agent and then the person they need will appear. In addition, they send another agent with Newton. Meanwhile, Matrona demands from the students to satisfy the recently arrived soldiers, who have been abroad for a year. Dominica chooses a guy named Peter and retires with him in a room. There, the girl satisfies the excited guy. In the evening, Matrona and the students watch how they coped with the task. The woman tells Dominica that she got a boy and that it won't be so easy. After that, the girl goes to the shower where she is attacked by a student named Victor. Dominica successfully fights him off with a crane. Meanwhile, Ivan discusses Nathan's arrival in Budapest with colleagues. The general intends to catch him and wipe out all the information, but Ivan reminds him that people from above will not like unnecessary aggression towards the United States. Zakharov supports Ivan in his judgments. Then the general arrives at the school, where he learns about the beating of a cadet by a girl. Dominica says she defended herself, but the man accuses her of beating up a promising student. The matron says that the girl has potential and the general asks to leave him with Dominica. The girl confidently explains to the general that she serves her country, and not the student, after which he lets her go. At the next lesson, Matrona asks Dominica what Victor wants and asks to come to her. The general is watching everything. The woman explains to the girl that she should not be shy and calls Victor. The matron asks Dominica to give him what he wants. Victor asks the girl to turn around, but she refuses and begins to undress. She begins to tell him what to do and how to do it. Victor insults her and leaves. Dominica says that Victor wants power, thus answering the manager's question. The general is impressed by what he sees. After that, Matrona informs that a car is waiting for Dominica and sent to Moscow. The girl claims that she did everything that the matron demanded, but the woman does not agree with this, unlike her superiors. Dominica meets with her mother, but at the same moment Ivan calls her. She then meets him at a restaurant. He sends his niece to Budapest so that she can meet Newton. In addition, he gives her new documents with a different name. In Budapest, Dominica meets with a new cohabitant, Marta, who is a sparrow. Later, Dominica meets with her new boss, Maxim, who gives some information about Nathan. Next, Marta helps Dominica dye her hair. The next day, the girl signs up for swimming to start spying on Nathan. After class, the man waits for Dominica on the street and guesses that she is from Russia. Moreover, he notices that blonde suits her. Nate reveals that he met a girl yesterday, Dominica tries to divert suspicion when he asks about her reasons for moving to this city. She says she got a job as an interpreter at the embassy. A man invites her to a restaurant, but she refuses and leaves. The next day, the girl visits the pool again, where she is informed that the card is missing. Nate found out everything about the girl and tells his superiors about it. The man understands that Dominica is here for him, but at the same time, he believes that it is possible to recruit her to his side, since she was just a simple ballerina just recently, moreover, Nate knows who her own uncle is. Further, Dominica asks Maxim to arrange her in the embassy in order to follow the legend. Soon she arrives there and meets Nate. During the conversation, the man invites the lady to a restaurant and Dominica agrees. After she comes home, where Marta tells the girl that the current boss, Maxim, plans to send Dominica to Moscow. Dominica decides to meet him in a bar where she tries to seduce a man, and then provokes him to hit her. Dominica says that the camera captured the moment of his hit, she will complain about him for harassment if he does not send a report to Moscow, in which Maxim will report that Dominica is successfully coping with the task. Following Nate, without waiting for Dominica, leaves the restaurant, and she begins to follow him. The girl comes to his house with a bruise and cries. She complains about her boss who hit her. Then the girl directly asks Nathan about the incident in the park. He shares some details and asks the girl to leave. The next day, Ivan visits Dominica. He finds out how her task is progressing, the girl does not finish, but
but asks for a large amount of money to help her. Uncle agrees, and then leaves. Next, Nate informs his superiors that their target named Marble showed up and gave information about Dominic. The agents realize that the girl is a sparrow and believe that Nathan is too tough for her. The man opposite is sure that it is possible to recruit her. Further, Dominica is in the Statio and where the girl is being questioned about her colleague Martha, who was killed by an agent because Dominica told her too much about her life. The girl did not say anything and was released, and after that she comes to Newton's house where they tell the whole truth about themselves. Nathan offers to work with him, but the girl needs time to think. He promises her that he will protect her if she agrees. The couple makes love at night. In the morning, Nate tells him what to do next. Dominica should write in the report that everything is going according to plan, Nate is on the hook and completely under the control of the girl. After that, she must return to her home and wait for his signal. Having done all the above, Nate brings Dominica to the authorities, where the girl is asked various questions while analyzing the indicators of the sensors on the lady's hands. When Dominica passed the test, she is given a task. She must meet with a senator in London and make a deal, suddenly Maxim bursts into the operation, promising to help, but Dominica asks him to leave. After the deal, the senator notices the surveillance and goes out onto the road. The woman does not notice the truck that hits her to death. Meanwhile, Maxim takes Dominica to the airport, which was not included in the plans, and Nathan is informed about what happened. The man is angry because he understands that he set the girl up, and then he goes after her. At the airport, Dominica makes it clear to him that it is better not to get in, and he retreats. In Moscow, Maxim and Dominic are suspected of helping the Americans. The girl is being tortured and her uncle watched with a smile. Dominica did not admit to betrayal, and at some point the agent shows a recording with the murder of Maxim, who also denied everything. The agent comes up from behind and aims for the head. Soon Ivan enters the room and Dominica manages to convince him to help her. The girl returns home, and Ivan talks with his superiors. He promises that if Dominica really helps the enemies, she will be destroyed. Then the girl meets with Newton. She asks him to help her and her mother move to America. Dominica is surprised at such help from the agent and asks what he would have done at the airport if she had not stopped him. He admits that he would have killed Maxim. Immediately after the girl kisses him. At night, a man is strangled by an agent and Dominica helps tie Nathan. After the agent starts torturing him to knock out the name of the person who was with him in the park. Dominica takes an active part in the interrogation. She waits for a moment and hits the agent, and then frees her lover. The couple not without difficulty manages to get rid of it. Then the girl wakes up in a hospital in Budapest where she meets the general. He says that he is the same person who was in the park. Once he had to take the side of the enemy in order to survive. The general offers to tell everything to Ivan. In this case, the general will be killed, but Dominica will take his place and continue to work for America in the same way. Further, the girl offers the government in exchange, a name for her freedom. The exchange takes place at night at the airport. It turned out that Dominica gave the name of her uncle, the girl was preparing evidence against him all the way. Nate confirmed Dominica's words, but was surprised by the girl's decision. The sniper who was watching the exchange kills Ivan. Dominica is taken away by helicopter. In Russia, a girl becomes a hero and now she can live in peace with her mother. Dominica gets a call and she picks up the phone. The girl is not answered, but at some point her favorite music started playing. This is where the movie ends. That's all guys for today. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a new video. Thank you for watching.